Michael B. Jordan and Laurie Harvey have called it quits. The A Journal for Jordan actor 35 and Harvey 25 have broken up after dating for a year and a half. A source close to the couple confirms to people. Michael and Laurie are both completely heartbroken, the source says. They still love each other. Michael matured a lot over the course of their relationship and was ready to commit for the long term. He let down his guard with her, opening up emotionally in a romantic relationship for the first time, adds the source. They had great times together and brought out the best in each other. A representative for Jordan could not be reached for comment. Reps for Harvey did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. He told The Hollywood Reporter in December that he finally found what love was in his relationship with Harvey. The Black Panther actor explained why he felt comfortable sharing his personal relationship publicly. When I was younger, I don't know if I could have handled the onslaught of opinions and being picked apart and also being conscious what the other person's going to go through. It takes a special person to deal with that. There's a premeditated planning of staying out of the way of the public eye that sometimes kills spontaneity and intimacy. I wanted to take that away and give this the best chance it had in this weird world what we live in, to be somewhat normal. Long story short, I think it's just the timing of everything. It was the right time for me, he added. Yeah, I'm happy. Lori, who is the daughter of Steve Harvey, opened up about her relationship with Jordan on The Real back in September. We just really balance each other, she explained at the time. I really do believe in the statement when they say, when you know, you know. And I think that really applies to our situation and we just have a really good time together. With this being said, there's a few lessons that we can take from not only the story, but from every other relationship. And the first lesson is that relationships require constant work and nourishment. This is not to say that Michael and Lori were not committed, but it goes to show you that there has to be a level of commitment from both individuals. Of course, the work and commitment that they had does not compare to a married couple, but it goes to show you that no one is immune from having to put forth quality time and healthy effort into making something work. We can become complacent and outright lazy in relationships, especially when the so-called honeymoon phase ends. It's crazy thinking about this, that you would think with the amount of access that Michael B. Jordan and Lori have, that they would be able to take as many getaways to any romantic island imaginable and live in bliss. But this goes to show you that no amount of money or fame prevents problems and issues from coming to the surface. The question is not if, but when those problems arise, are the two individuals committed to making the relationship thrive? Another lesson that can be learned from this is to never idolize a relationship, no matter if they're a Hollywood couple or your everyday nine to five citizen. Jealousy and envy easily robs you of having a relationship that's built on transparency and peace. We tend to look to Hollywood couples such as Lori and Michael and use the phrase relationship goals without knowing really what's going on in their lives when the cameras are gone and they're inside their homes. We all have hidden struggles and skeletons that we're fighting and most of the time superstars and celebrities have to be that much more on point to keep their images intact. How much more stress and drama do you think is added on top of everything else that they have to deal with? I'm not saying that it's wrong to have a favorite actor or actress, and you may even look up to a celebrity couple for inspiration, but we must be careful when their likeness becomes an unhealthy obsession. We tend to gravitate towards fantasy and fairy tales because it's a way of escaping from reality, especially if your current relationship is on the brink of destruction. To be clear, this video is in no way to cast judgment on Lori and Michael. It's just to shed light on what we all can improve on. No one's relationship is perfect. And if someone said that theirs is, I advise you to run the opposite way from them. As mentioned before, it's human nature to not examine our own hearts and comment on what everyone else is doing. So let me know your thoughts on these events below. I encourage every one of you to think about your current life. And if it's not where you want it to be, 
Be mature enough to work on yourself and not make your life worse by making irrational decisions. The cycle just repeats itself when it comes to toxic relationships and unhealthy human beings. As your personal development and relationship mentor, my goal is to see you all thrive in life. And that's why your free one hour coaching session is available. Please email me at lifecoachjscott at gmail.com to get started. If you've received any value from this content and would like more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember to turn on your notifications so you'll never miss out on my weekly content. Thanks again, and until next time, be safe and take care.